everyone, welcome back to our channel. Let's start with the news today. What has happened so far today? Today marks the 15 days of a warfare in Ukraine. In the last few hours, Russia said humanitarian corridors will open every day at the 7 a.m. GMT to uh, allow the evacuation of uh, civilians uh, from Ukraine, part of Ukraine. This is despite a failure of several every ceasefire. If you are just uh, joining us this evening, here are the latest. Boris Johnson tells Sky Beth Ribby uh, he fears Vladimir Putin may use chemical weapons and it is straight out of a Russia playbook. Russia says uh, it will open humanitarian corridor at 10 a.m. Moscow time every day to allow for the evacuation of Ukraine civilians. Ukraine has just to command and a detail us scare. Ukraine says 80,000 people were evacuated from the world-torn Sumy and Kiev regions in the last 48 hours. The country arterial minister claims 400,000 uh, have fled conflict zones in total. The National uh, Committee of the Red Cross says uh, people in the besieged uh, cities of Mariupol are attacking each other for food and as supplies are uh, run low. Ukrainian official says 1,207 bodies have been collected from the streets of the southern port city in recent days. Meanwhile, three people were killed in an attack on a children's hospital yesterday. No progress was made on a ceasefire after talks between the foreign minister of Ukraine and Russia in Turkey earlier today. The UN nuclear watchdog says uh, Ukraine has lost own contact with the facility at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant, which is under Russian control. This is the end of our news today. If you like this video, please like and subscribe for our channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.